Although I'm a big fan of Eternabon and silicone to seal a lot of things, there are specific sealants that are called out for areas on your RV. Now most manufacturers will put a sealant chart together or have a call out of recommended products that they uh, use on their vehicles. Now we obtained this chart from Winnebago Industries. It's one of their sealant charts. It's right online. You can get it on the website. Go into your model year and uh, find out the, um, the specific style. And you'll see here where we've got the first thing that's called out is what we call a butyl tape. Now this is used around the windows, um, frames, also up in underneath the uh, vents on the top. And it's just kind of a putty type sticky on both sides. You can see here it's just kind of pulls off almost like a gum basically. And that just is put between the frame and the wall and once that's tightened down then that's going to squish and create a watertight seal and we simply will go around it trim off the excess piece um, you really don't need anything else with that now some manufacturers will do what we call a cap seal on uh, some of the windows on the side really all a cap seal is going to do is collect dust and it's going to get dirty and you're going to have to clean it if you use a good butyl tape like this uh, you won't have to do any more to that next we have this this is a uh, thermoplastic sealant, and it's just designed to be able to take uh, some heat ratings. Now, there are different colors available. You may need to get this in white or um, a match a, a paint color in here, and you, you see that they're called out on the Winnebago guide. The next one I have is a Manus Plus, and uh, this is a high-performance elastomeric and what that means is it's going to be able to expand and contract and move quite a bit um, you'll see the call out for this on that chart now this even though it says a silicone this is a specific type of a silicone it is a um, sealant the silicone uh, where we get it here self-leveling and what that means is once you put it on you know, typical silicone is just going to go on and stay in a bead um, and you have to put and push it down and get it into the crevice with your fingers or some type of a tool. What this will do is as I put this down, it will actually level out. So I'm gonna see this used a lot on the outside tops, specifically around um, vents, around any covers in the top. So it'll just kind of lay itself flat and seal that whole area out. And again, I can get this in a variety of, of different colors to match if I've got a beige top, if I got a white top, um, so forth. And then the last one we have here, this silicone is an exterior siding and trim silicone. And it's also designed to expand and contract. When you get cold mornings and hot afternoons, uh, those materials have a tendency to move a little bit. So you want something that isn't going to harden and crack. Um, I can also, again, this one's clear and I can get it in a variety of different colors to match those trim pieces where I may have a painted basement uh, or bottom quarter. I may have the floor level um, has got some type of a trim. If I put a white on there and I've got a dark brown or beige or whatever. So each model year is going to have something specifically called out for those. So instead of just using a generic silicone or um, Eternabond, which is a good product as well, but make sure you look at the sealant charts, get the right product for the right place on your RV, and you'll keep moisture penetration out.